Welcome to another episode of the Kin Seed series, and we're full release now, and this whole thing is very different than it used to be. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. So, uh, to start off with, I shan't be continuing. I don't have a save anymore, so I guess we'll be starting a new game. Ooh, we've got so many cool... Okay, hair colors. I do like this one. Okay. Uh, let's change our name. And begin. Oh, this is different. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Then one day, a man, without wife or child, came to the house with manner so mild. The man looked at the children, each a fair twin. I am your uncle, he exclaimed with a grin. He took them away to live in the Vale, in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. Then they slept, safe, warm and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. That was awesome. I didn't expect any voice acting. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pot is waking us up? How unusual. It was usually our twin. Wake up. Uh, move. Shift to run. You can change the default in the escape. Okay. So we can walk. Oh, and our sibling doesn't stop us on the bridge. Oh, it's because it's the sleeping sequence. That's correct. We have things we need to pick now. Hello there, dreaming one. My name is Bot. Let's have some fun. I was given a special task. Some intriguing questions must be asked. Step through the door with a brave face. Enter a very special place. I will meet you and give you some choices, so listen to your inner voices. Go now, child, and don't be glum. Visit the woods of what's to come. Then when you wake, you must we must part. The truth be known inside your heart. Okay. Ooh, I have a sign. No sign that we can read? Or I've forgotten the button to make it so that... Ah, woods... So E to interact, I guess. Now let us start this audition. Tell me, child, your life's ambition. Run a business, raise a family, adventure, or follow fate. Must barnery, virility, toughness, or stamina. Mm -hmm. Let's go with run a business, I suppose. That's what I generally do. A business, eh? What comes to mind? But tell me, youngster, just what kind? A nice mix? Uh, apothecary, good sword, blacksmith. Ugh, this isn't going to be in just yet. Um, the tavern? That's going to be added at a later date. At least I think so. Uh, I'll go... Apothecary for now. It is my favorite store to run. A legacy you hope to grow, but remembered for, I must know. My generosity, my skills, things I've created, or the deeds I did. So we're gonna get a pendant for it. Maybe generosity, because I'm always gifting when I uh, interact with people. Questions done now. Very good. I can see why Fa Fairweather likes your blood. He gives this gift, so hold it tight and wait for his call one misty night. It's a duke. And our gift. Oh, don't hit the duck. Let's 
go ahead and open that. Uh, ooh, the glass lens, a mysterious gift. There you are. Ah, I'm glad the sibling has our hair color. <laughs> Come on over here. I'm so excited to see how things are different now. Hello. Press E or click. Everything looks so different. Let's go ahead and talk. Well, that's one way to get out of doing any work. Why didn't I think of that? Weird dreams, eh? You should hear about the one I had last night, but not now. We're supposed to be doing our chores, remember? And don't pretend you lost your journal, lazy bones, because I have it right here. Uh, with C. Or the flashing icon. Ah, down here. The C, though. Ooh, interesting. Pin. I don't know what this symbol means. Maybe track? Pick a dandelion. Yeah. Oh, it's for the that way. Okay. So we need to feed the pig, do a dandelion. And these are her ways to filter, it looks like. And here's our dear old calendar. 14 days. So you noticed the job I added, eh? Well, it is your turn. It's right there on the calendar. I check mine every day to make sure I don't forget things. And maybe when you have time, you can work on that map you've always, you're always going on about. I thought you might like it with you. Uh, thank you for the map. <laughs> what the? It's a whole new map. Okay, interesting. So this must be the border of this area. So the mine up to uh, Twig. Okay. World map. <gasps> okay. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. There is so much to explore. Okay, so we've got the different um, areas you can go fight. So before we had all of th uh, most or all of this. Are these mines or just uh, icons of the area? Here's Twig. Then over here we have Poppy Hill. And then we had over here. And that was it. So all of this is new. I think pretty much all of that is new. Uh, this is crazy. Where is... Oh, there's the forest. Okay. Oh man, this is awesome. I like this new map. Uh, let me go ahead and exit. I like how it zooms back in on us. I almost forgot Uncle Bill got us a satchel each so we can carry anything we need. They're a bit old and musty, but they're ours. We never had anything like this back at the shoe. Uh, inventory. Unlock, unlock map of Willowdown. Okay, so this is looking fairly similar. Got the filters here, uh, or like sub tabs, I suppose. Yeah. All right, go ahead and close that. Anyway, I think that's it. Maybe once we finish our chores, we can start exploring. Can't wait to have adventures myself. I mean, isn't this place amazing? I still can't believe we're here. I always daydreamed some relative would show up one day and take us away from the shoe, but I never thought someone like Uncle Bill would really exist. Oh, that's right. He wanted to talk to you about something. Better pop over to the house and see what it is. Uh, so, sibling. This is going to show us the stats. We've got their stats. <laughs> Uh, where they live, their birthday, likes and dislikes. Oh, permanent traits. Bravery, animal lover, and intelligence. Okay. And then here we have all of our areas. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and talk. It was nice of Uncle Bill to leave little signs around to help us. You should try reading them by interacting them with left trigger or left control. Uh, I know you can read. How are you? What's happening? Gift. All right. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. What's happening? I'm going to toil in the soil. Need to keep our crop squares tip top. All right. We don't have anything to gift. Goodbye. The fish looks so different. I almost tried to fish, but can't do that. Apple in a day keeps the doctor away. Just throw him at him. Interesting. I like that um, it seems to be flying kind of towards us, so maybe we won't get stuff in the river as much. <laughs> or in bushes. What is the what's it? 
Just what is it? Okay. Self-hate creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. The brownie has been known to sometimes make itself known, as do the gilly whittle, the thatterway, and th that guy. Which I bet you struggled to say. Nope, skipped it. However, the most common of these little creatures is the what? what is it? Uh, when a person is new to an area, they may see these sparkling little entities fluttering around point, uh, points of interest. If something is of use, the what is it will draw attention to it. The what is it will not go away unless the object is interacted with. It is though the creature is insisting that it has your full attention. Once satisfied, the what is it will fly away happy. Well, as happy as a floating, blinking, glowing, flappy eye can be. Let's grab a pear. Uh, we've got our bucket. Never drink from it. Hello, that our way. Oh, interesting. So it's like the actual mailbox. Okay. Uh, hey, uncle. Go ahead and talk. I like these icons. They're very pretty. How are you settling in? I hope you're not finding the chores too much of a bother. I'm not as young as I used to be, so I can't do everything myself. Not that that's why I brought you here. Me and your aunt always wanted children, but we were never blessed. If only she was here now. She always loved this time of year. The festival of summertide is coming up soon, and the whole of Vale is preparing for it. Us too. We need the goddess Druida to smile on us and bring us prosperity. So I'm counting on you both to help. It'll be fun. You'll see. So we went ahead and met him. How are you? Good, thanks. What's happening? Someone needs to milk the family cow, so I'm going to do that. I see that. Goodbye. I guess we could gift. An apple. A gift for me. Uh, oh. NPC info. Okay. Uh, oh, those are some nice quality apples. Uh, okay. Oh, friendship points. Interesting. So it's all right here instead of like up in the corner. Oh, very nice. Not bad. I do, but do I look like a grass to you or any kind of growy thing? What is that? Oh, I think maybe we gave him a, a boost by giving that to him. Yeah, we gave him stamina up. Okay. Uh, and we can see talking to Uncle Bill. Ooh, birds. You're new. Shoo shoo. Alright, let's go grab that. Hoptooth gives you oomph for night, but also gives you a scaredy fright. Interact. Map stone. Uncover all the map stones in a level to magically acquire the image of the whole region. We can do that. More birds. I didn't think I needed wildlife, but here we are. Pink and dandelions will make a clock appear on the top right of the screen. If you haven't already, ha if you don't already have a clock there, the largest seed points to the current hour. I.e., if the point uh, points straight down, it is six. The dandelion clock lasts 12 hours, so you will need to pick another. A better clock may be available later, but for now, nature can help you out. Oh, interesting. So they changed the dandelion clock. How it looks, at least. The gates are closed. Clear as folk. It is a truth locally no acknowledged that there is no place more peaceful, tranquil, and lush than Quill, nor people as friendly, helpful, or oblivious as Quillians. But if you want to live a full life, avoid the pitfalls others have fallen into in the past, you ought to listen to the wisdom of, the, of these honest folk. Whenever you go into this fair land, you will come across vital pieces of knowledge scrawled on bits of weatherproof paper left behind by some generous soul. Never occurred to me that it was silly that they could sat out in the rain. <laughs> Whether they're about to how to abide by laws and customs, make the best of nature's bounty, or face some of the dark perils that lurk beneath the surface, you're sure to find them all helpful. Well, most of them. Of course, some knowledge isn't written on any scrap or tome, and you'll only find them by the tongues of the people you meet. Not literally, of course, but become friendly enough with such sages, and those tongues are bound to loosen. Be sure to collect such sayings in your journal so you can refer to it often. 
and there's much you can learn yourself from things you find in the world if you study them carefully, whether bird, beast, flower, or anything else. So go out, learn, and explore. As the old proverb says, you can't lead a horse to water because they're extinct. Ah, yes, that well-known saying. Bubble bobble, help in context. If you wander around the world looking lost, just rub your bubble bobble and things will be much clearer. Simply hit F3. Anything of importance that is interactive will have a little bubble uh, box pop up near them. You can click on these labels to highlight and E to get more information about things in question. Hope this helps. Bubble bobble. Ah, off square. Birds. Run away, birds. <laughs> dandelion. Look at the seed of the dandelion, fla dandelion flower. They point to the current hour. <laughs> I can read. Uh, Kukudu. Kukudu is the healer's friend. Its usefulness knows no end. Oh. Oh. They disappear after the hour is gone. Ooh, map zone. Ooh. Uh, there's achievements now. Discover all the map stones in a single location. Something else was there. Player progress. I think that's the rain stick, but I'm not sure. We've met two out of 80 NPCs. We found 12 items. That's a surprise. Oh, you! there's a cap to how many business businesses you can own. Tax owed achievements. Ooh. Uh... Cracking cartography. Oh, discover all the maps. Oh, was that it? Here. And then... Ooh, this is fun. Oh, it's weird seeing... Oh, this one's locked. Or maybe that's... Um, the actual icon for that thing. It's weird seeing all of them available now. Alright. Uh, check the map then. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, it's me. So I wonder what I need to probably just uh, use these to um, get the label. I wonder if there's a something there to pick up. Let's we'll look. We're gonna explore. It's a swan and a baby. Ooh, that's new. All right. Are you new to Quill? Have you come from beyond the eternal mists that ring our fair land? Or are you some uneducated muffin from Deepstone? Maybe you just got banged on your head and forgot. You might even be in some kind of ethereal tutorial and need to know things quickly. Well, here are some reminders of thing how things work around here. Firstly, the land is ruled over by six fey goddesses. Each day the people in the land make offerings to the goddess stones to the fey deities and put food in their own offering bowls to appease the clan of brownie the land is covered in mystery and invisible folk walk among us under the ever watchful gaze of the goddesses it is advised you read everything there's no substitute to taking note of what people tell you but a lot of how things work you need to learn yourself old school okay look at that oh you're new and these this here's new. Got a little pond, I guess, for filling up. Ah, here's our watering can. This feels... Oh, it's much bigger. Oh my god, there's so much more space here. So we used to have these four, and then I think a single one here. Look at the status of the crops you want to see. Ah, yes. Wrong button. Okay. Perfect. Uh, control to view objects. Can we also interact with E? Yes. Okay. Uh, whoop. Ah, this is the brownie bowl. Put the pot the brownie looks after your house and the babies while you're away, but requires reward. Each day you need to place an item in the bowl. This item could be anything. Forget to make an offering and pot will give you a little curse. Each day you will add another up to a maximum of six. The curses are one, the day of forgetting. Rotten core. Apples go rotten on your trees. Day two. Curdle. Cows can't be milked on the farm. Okay. Be lazy. No honey can be taken from the farm. 
loose lips. Fish can't won't bite on on the farm. The bailiff larder has one random item removed at midnight. Oh my god. Be subtle. Your children can't learn. Making an offering will take the curse level down one stage. Your family can be ordered to make offerings in your place. Ooh. Cool. Uh, here you go, Mr. Pot. A wee blueberry for you. I just saw something over here. Maybe it was a bird. I am very much used to not having the run on all of the time, and so I keep trying to sprint and make myself slower. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Use the tin bucket to get water. Don't use the poo bucket. So it looks different. Oh, the house is different. Okay, lantern. We've got our oven and the storage, but I can't apparently use it. Oh my god, it's so... Okay. Um... What do we have here? Hey friend, this is just a little note to remind you all about the help available. Uh, pressing F3 on the magical thing we call a keyboard or uh, clicking in the right stick will make any interactable items be highlighted by a helpful bubble. So this is the bubble bubble. Uh, so simply select one for more information. Clever, eh? If you, you also use F1, or press the on-screen button for help when it's displayed. Additionally, there's a little how to play in the options menu with links to a wonderful wiki. So friend, if you have ever in if you are ever in a stew and don't know what to do, then help is but a button press away. Awesome. Let's go ahead that. I guess this looks like for summer, so I don't think we really need that. Okay. Animal control, uh, tab to call our animals. We don't really need this at the moment. I wonder what this is. I guess this is our calendar and our map hung up. And then our room. I wonder what this bottle is. Here's where we sleep. Okay. There's um, something else going back. Oh, the tomatoes. I didn't think about the tomatoes are gone. Cause I think they're normally here. Ish. Uh, this is new, like I said before. Yeah, the little fish icons are different. Uh, stop getting dark, I have things- oh, Give it to me! Okay, so there's the mine. So here's the tomatoes and more herbs. That's very nice. So, here's our ma- um... Uh, homestones. Uh, uh, item permission granted, because we have a lot of people we uh, have good relationship with. Excuse? Who and what are you? Tell me. Uh, night berries only appear when nine dark bells ring so clear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you see me slowing down, it's because I want to go faster. <laughs> I think we need to feed the pig, by the way. Here you go. Oh, now we have like a aim. That's good. Let's check out down here. Oh, it's an exit. Where's all the fruit trees? How am I supposed to have copious amounts of apples if you've taken all my fruit trees away? That looks really cool though. I love these. I wonder what that is. Oh, probably dandelion. It's like the hill at the bottom of our farm is gone. Interesting. A squirrel. He's a chunky little body. Can we go up here? Oh, we can. Uh, Dreamer's Nook. We have a sign here. Creator's Notes 13. Most NPCs can be married. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm kind of surprised those are still around. Mapped the region. It's not a very big region, so I'm not surprised. Here we have our fairy paths. Pond Lurker gives a tiny burst to stamina, but it's the worst. Are you about fishing? Oh, maybe I should actually read this because fishing may be a little different. Just cast your rod and try to hit the shadows with your hook. If you miss, a little ripple action can persuade one to come a nibble in. But don't ripple one when one is too near or you'll scare them away. Don't forget to adhere to the proverb. Some fish like rain, some like midnight or moonlight, some summer, and many will even flock to food if you have the correct skill. Oh, it's so like toss an apple in to get them to swarm. Hope these tips are helpful if you don't like fishing. I don't like fishing myself, I just like writing it. 
to books about fishing. And here are some more of his books. Sharks, just what are they? And what is the sea? <laughs> so there's our whistle root. Assuming they haven't gone and chitch. Eh. So many things I can't do because I don't have my tools. Ooh. If you hear a cat in the distance, it is my cat yodeling. Uh, ooh, a book. Twix torn out diary page. It's happening, it's happening. Tonight's the night Mr. F said we should meet. I'm a little scared, but I know I shouldn't be scared, because what's there to be frightened of anyway? All the dreams said it would be turn out all right, and I believe Mr. F when he said I could be the best, best, best fisherman in all of Quill. Still, he is a fell fay, and they say you can't trust them. That they're tricksters and shapeshifters, and bad things happen when you talk to them. But that's just stories scare kids straight, and Twig ain't a kid anymore. I'm all grown up. Even grown ups get scared going into old mines, though. Got the key and the lantern ready, but might have to take a few swigs of starshine before I go in. Just in case I never make it back, I want to ask whoever finds this to give my belongings as an offering to the goddesses. Tell them I didn't mean to do anything bad. Oh well. Oh, and tell them not to bring me back as a moth, as a hate bright light. <laughs> so that's where our beanstalk will go. He's got a little spot to sit. That's nice. So this is relatively unchanged from what I can tell. Oh, right. Children. Oh my god, I forgot. We can't stay up all night. Quick, hurry home. I'm coming. Don't make me pass out yet. I'm doing my best. Yeah. You're in my bed. All right. Ooh. Thank you. Let us... Ooh. This might help us know what time. So dawn is four to five. Day. Or probably morning. Then we're in the day. Uh, but let's go ahead and sleep till six. Sleep and save. My fun. Ah. We're in a dream. Fair weather, is this you? Ooh, the kinseed. Cool. Oh no. God, I love this. Do you fear the shadows, my child? Or do you feel them calling to you? You should hold them close and listen. The kinseed has chosen you for greatness. We'll speak again at summertide fades. We'll speak again as summertime fades and your closed eyes will be opened. Now, wake up. Fair weather, this is kind of scary. Oh yay, it's morning. Two brass waiting. Uh, pick a dandelion, feed the peg. Alright, let's grab our coin. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We have already auto-saved. Uh, so, I think that's where I'm going to start stop this episode. There's so much to explore. Even our very farm has changed, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and the fact that Conceit is now in full release. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.